Are you tired of getting outplayed? Constantly getting demolished? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Pro Guides is the number one proven way to quickly level up your Smash Ultimate skills. Whether you're looking for tier lists, character guides, coaching, or courses from your favorite pro players, Pro Guides is where you'll find them. Even players like Esam, Zero, and MK Leo support Pro Guides. So what are you waiting for? Click the link to start improving right now. Competition is all about finding out who's the best. If you're on this channel, you probably know that the best regions in Smash are North America and Japan. And you know that both North America and the world's best player is MKLeo. You might know the best players in other regions too, like Gluttony in Europe. However, even if you're a dedicated Smash fan, you probably don't know as much about Japan. Japanese tournaments are sick, but they're pretty hard to watch given the time zones. Japan is full of awesome pros with different personalities and styles, but it can be pretty hard to keep up with them given the language barrier. But Japan is actually one of the most interesting regions in Smash right now because it's a lot harder to tell who the best player is. The lack of a clear best is a function of the incredible depth and the constant repeat competition that only Japan has. Since the country is super small and densely populated, it's a lot easier for Smash players and fighting game players in general to consistently meet and compete with each other. In Japan, the big tournament for the weekend will have a lot of the same dedicated players attending. In the US and Europe, travel is more of an issue so we don't see the same level of consistent repeat competition. With Japanese players regularly facing off against each other, it's tough to see who's the best, but that won't stop us from trying. With the new PGR soon to come out, we're marking out who we think the best Japanese player is ahead of time. To figure out who the best player is, we're taking a look at results. Obviously, we're looking at who has the best placings, but we're also looking at the story behind those placings, so who they lost to, who they beat, how close the games were, and if they were taking it seriously or going all secondaries or something like that. Based off the last few months of results, there are four clear frontrunners for the number one spot. Kameme, Zachre, Shutone, and T. Each of these players have gotten at least one big tournament win, have beaten players ranked in the top 10 of the PGR, and have pretty consistently made top 8 in tough tournaments. Let's break each competitor down, one by one, going in order of their position on the early 2019 Japanese player rankings. First, there's Shutone. This guy is Japan's diehard Olimar main, even playing him in Smash 4 where the character was considerably worse. You might also know Shutone for his legendary play at Frostbite where he used Richter's down air on a Pikmin to recover to stage. But don't let that distract you from the rest of the video. He got the number one spot for the first half of the year based on great results in and out of Japan. However, that was before patch 3.1 nerfed Olimar pretty significantly. The nerfs combined with other players getting matchup experience made brackets harder for pretty much every Olimar main. But Shutone preserved and also picked up a Shulk secondary? If that sounds like an odd choice, it's because it is. It was also a smart one that helped him win Umebura SP5, his most recent big win. Beyond Umebura 5, Shutone hasn't won that many gold medals, but he has gotten solid placings and wins. At Sale Smash X, he got first and beat T. At Thunder Smash 3, he got fifth and beat Leia, Larry Lur, and Raito. At Switch Fest, he got fourth and beat Light and Gluttony. And at the Big House, he got seventh after beating Cosmos and Plup, but narrowly losing to Tweak 3-2. Shutone's most disappointing placement was 33rd at Umebura 6. Other than that, he hasn't missed top 16 at any event he's gone to. He also has some pretty big wins against names like Light, Gluttony, T, Cosmos, Proto Banham, and Zachre. Shutone's looking pretty good, but not as good as he was at the start of the year, when he was winning tournaments left and right. Zachre, the former number 2 on the early 2019 Japanese power rankings, hasn't had the same struggles. Zachre is the leader of the new guard in Japan. At just 17 years old, he's often busy completing classes and homework for high school before going to huge international events. Zachary basically treats Smash like a MOBA and rotates between Wolf, Joker, Rob, and Game & Watch depending on the matchup. He might just bust out a left field pick like Ridley too. Zachary's results have less consistency than Shoe Tones, but better heights. Zachary had two disappointing showings at Main Stage where he got 33rd and Umebura 4 where he got 25th. At main stage, he lost to Myron and Big D as well, two players most would consider below his caliber. However, Zachary got a huge win at Big House 9 where he ran through some of the best players in the world. At the tournament, he beat Nairo DeBuzz, Meister Cosmos, and double-eliminated Tweak. That's basically an MKLeo caliber run right there. 
He also won Sumoboto 8 and EGS Cup 2, got 2nd to Shutone and Umabura 5, 7th at Ultimate Summit 2, and 9th at Super Smash Con. Of the top 4, Zachary has some of the worst losses but also the best wins. In a lot of his losses against top competitors, he also keeps it super close. So while he does have a losing record versus Shutone, he's gotten very close to beating him. He's also gotten really close to beating competitors like Esam and MKLeo. If you want a picture of consistency, then look to Kameme. Kameme is the Mega Man Sage sitting atop the mountain. He won't come down for just any tournament, but when he does, you can expect him to do well. Since mid-April, he hasn't placed below 9th. Kameme is also one of the few players to have beaten Joker-era MKLeo. That's pretty huge, but it comes with the caveat that he beat winner's bracket MKLeo, which just isn't the same challenge as beating loser's bracket MKLeo. But MKLeo isn't the only great win Kameme has, as he's also best at Umeki, Ken, Kome, Leia, Isam, T, and MVD. Kameme's biggest recent win was at Switchfest, which admittedly isn't as big a win as Shutone's Umabura 5 or Zachary's Big House 9 wins. Although it was smaller, he had to double eliminate T. That gives him a pretty good head-to-head -head against the final contender for first place. Then, out of nowhere comes T, the man that almost single-handedly makes Pac-Man look busted. T might just be one of the most underrated and overlooked players in Ultimate. He's almost as consistent as Kameme, has a win that's almost as big as Zachary's, and results that might be better than anyone in the top 4. T's worst placing in Ultimate's entire lifespan is 17th, and even then, he lost in two tight sets to the 6th and 18th highest ranked players in Japan. His only recent first placing was at Thunder Smash 3, but it was a big win. He beat Salem, Cosmos, Mutes, Esam, and Mars in that tournament alone. Outside of it, he got 2nd at Switchfest, 2nd at Run It Back, 5th at Summit 2, and 5th at Main Stage. Those placings have got T some really good wins too. Light, Shutone, Gluttony, Samsora, Meister, Leia, Abadongo, and more. In the second half of the year, T did a better job of picking up big wins against big international players, and it's what puts him in contention for Japan's top spot. That's the basic rundown of the top four. Managing to keep up so far? If you're having trouble, don't worry. Here's the basic breakdown. Every player has similarly good tournament results. Kameme is the most consistent competitor, but he also has the weakest wins and hasn't topped a recent S tier. T and Zachary have the most impressive international resumes, with Zachary having higher highs and lower lows. Shutone has had the biggest recent domestic win with Umibura 5. That's a tight race, and recent head-to-heads don't really help. Since August, Kameme hasn't faced Shutone in bracket, and Zachary hasn't faced T. All the other head-to-heads are super close. T and Shutone have gone 1-1 in sets, Zachary and Shutone have gone 3-2 in sets, Zachary is up 1-0 over Kameme, and Kameme is up 2-0 over T. Both Kameme's wins were 3-2 sets. Three of Zachary and Shutone's sets were 3-2 as well. 3-3 if you count the set at Little Big House where Zachary was going all game and watch. We could look at historical head-to-heads, but the early Japanese rankings already did that and we want to look ahead. When it's this tight of a race, it's pretty hard to objectively say who's the best. At a point, you have to pick certain factors to value over others. In this case, we're going to value big international wins over big domestic wins. As we said in an earlier video, right now NA is the best region. Though Japan has caught up more and more recently, NA still looks pretty strong and its big tournaments attract global talent more than Japan's do. We're also going to value consistency over head-to-head -head wins. Since the head-to-head -head numbers are so small and often such close calls, they don't really feel like smoking guns. Plus, a big part of getting a good rank and showing full talent as a competitor comes with consistency. It's that underrated thing you need to be one of the GOATs. All that said, the number one Japanese player is... Drumroll, please! Oh, hold on. Just opening the envelope. There we go. <coughs> T! We're ranking T first, followed by Zachary second, Shutone third, and Kameme fourth. T and Zachary got the top two spots for doing better internationally, winning at the most stacked events of the four, and playing a lot of their losing sets very close. T just barely beat Zachary because he's more consistent and hasn't dipped below 17th. Shutone earns the third spot in no small part because he plays more. Kameme's breaks may make him more consistent, but Shutone's activity means he has more impressive wins. Besides, Shutone isn't that inconsistent either. He just had one disappointing showing at Umabura 6. So Shutone just barely beats out Kameme. 
Of course, our word isn't law, and you can make good arguments to change these top four up in a lot of ways. Every player has good wins against some of the best in the game and good placings to boot. Who do you think is the best player in Japan right now? Did you ever think a Pac-Man main would be one of the best players in the world? Let us know in the comments.